Hello, investors and traders, and welcome to the weekly market report with the Market Guys. I'm AJ Monty. This is a one year daily candle chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, ticker symbol DIA. And as I do each and every week, I've left my lines on the chart so our followers can get a good understanding for how accurate technical analysis really is for forecasting the markets. And as you can see here, this diagonal line that I'm highlighting right here is the line that I drew from last week where I said that we would most likely move lower and I drew the support level right here and I said that we would most likely test and even break down below that support level and we did that on Wednesday and then what happened is the market bounced from that support level so this is about, I would rate this as about an 85% accuracy on the forecast because we did go down and then we bounced in the last two trading days of the week. Now, what does that mean for next week? Well, I'm going to race all of these lines and point out a couple of things that I think you'll find interesting. And that starts with this blue line. That's the 20-period moving average. And you can see that this 20-period moving average, although it's the average price of the stock for the last 20 days, it is moving in a downward direction. And over the past couple of weeks, the market has had a hard time staying over that line or even maintaining a level over it for a short period of time. So I think what we're going to see for next week is we're going to see a pullback in the market from that line and I believe we're going to go a little bit lower on the diamond. So that's my forecast for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Now, if you look at the Qs, this is the NASDAQ market. Again, about 85% accuracy on this one. I said that we would move lower. We did that, and then we bounced off to the support level. And interestingly enough, as I erase these lines, you'll see that we have held this resistance area up here and I think that resistance line is going to act as a barrier or a ceiling for the market particularly if you look at this one little candle that's a spinning top we see that red candle on a higher volume day which tells us that the sellers are motivated right now therefore I think that the cues which again represents the Nasdaq market will start to see a pullback to this next support level so we're kind of stuck in a trading channel there and that raises the caution flag for me with regard to any kind of buy ideas this is not a time to be buying when you see signs of weakness like that so that's my forecast for the cues if I look at the spiders that's ticker symbol SPY again kind of follows suit from what I said in the last two alerts with regard to the spiders and the diamonds we did pull back and this support level did hold. Interesting thing again for the spiders is that we have a red candle that caused the price to close back below that 20 period moving average. And we see that on very high volume. Today's volume was the highest of the week. And again, that's on a red candle. So I think that the sellers are going to move in push the spiders lower, and I think we're going to break down below that support level. I'm going to draw that line to show you support, but I'm going to leave this line in place, which notes that a breakdown is imminent, and that's what I think is going to happen for next week. Keep an eye on this because it's pretty amazing when you follow next week's report, you'll see that obviously next week all this area will be filled in from where I have my lines Right now, I'm just forecasting, so there is no price action. But next week, you'll have the history to prove the accuracy of these charts, and it's pretty phenomenal. Now, if we look at the Russell 2000, this is the one that gave us the head fake. I thought that we would go lower in the Russell 2000. We did not. We went higher. Each and every day, we went higher. And as I back up from this, I'm going to show you another interesting thing that's kind of following along with the rest of the markets. These highs right here, here, and here are showing successively lower highs, which tells us that a downtrend is in place. 
until these highs are broken and until we see the price starting moving back up to break even these highs from back here in March, we're in a downward trend. So my forecast for the Russell 2000 is going to be very similar than what I showed you in the queues where I think a pullback is imminent and this support level will most likely be tested. So I'm going to leave all of these lines in place and next week we could more or less connect the dots. Now finally the VIX. This is the one that you should be paying most attention to. I said that the VIX would most likely pull back and it did. It did not bounce off of the support level but it pulled back in a very dramatic way. Now why is this one so important today? And that's because we have two back-to-back -back bullish engulfing patterns for the VIX. When you see a bullish engulfing pattern on the volatility index, you could not ignore that because almost 100% of the time when you see these patterns, the VIX will rally from those points. Here's a bullish engulfing pattern right here. What happened? The VIX rallied. Here's a bullish engulfing pattern back here in December. What happened? It rallied. You can go on and on. Here is a big bullish engulfing pattern, very similar to what we have this week, where it formed right on the low, and we rallied in a big way, where we had two back-to-back -back bullish engulfing patterns right here. So once again, bullish engulfing pattern, bullish engulfing pattern. My forecast for the VIX is that we're going to go higher. Now, remember, the volatility index is a contrarian indicator to the S&P. So in other words, if the VIX is bullish then we need to look to the downside or be bearish on the S&P and the rest of the market. So that's the forecast. On Monday, the 24th, I'm going to be talking a lot more about that. If you go to themarketguys.com, it's www.themarketguys.com, and you scroll down from this page, you'll see that there's a registration link right here. You click on that and it will bring you to this page, which is pretty simple. You just put your name, email address in there and you register. It's free. On this day, the 24th, starting at 8 p.m., I'm going to analyze your stocks. I'll analyze the market once again. I'll take your questions. It's an action-packed hour that I think you're really going to enjoy. Remember, it's free to the public, so you can invite any one of your friends or family members. That's okay. And I will spend that time with you on Monday evening going over the markets and showing you some ways to make some money by placing trades using charts and particularly candle charts. So that's my report for this week. Have a great weekend and we'll talk to you soon. So long. This video segment is a small part of what the market guys offer through their educational products and services. If you are interested in any of our trade alert services or you would like more information about our one-on-one -on -one mentoring program, simply contact us at info at